A mother, a daughter, and a dear friend to many is alive and healthy one day and mysteriously deceased amidst a trail of suspicious actions less than two weeks later. And while it's unknown how Laura Howard died in April 2013, all clues point in one direction. Robert Keene, a man who duped Laura into believing that he was someone he was not. Told Laura he's from Canada and was here illegally and struck up a friendship with her. But after a short time of dating, some red flags went up with Laura's friends about the man who was introduced to them as Simon Storm. We conducted uh, numerous interviews with Laura's friends, and each one of them said they got a, a, a hinky feeling about Simon, um, that he wasn't exactly who he said he was. The last day Laura was seen alive, she had been swimming with a neighbor, and nothing seemed to skew. The following day, Simon brokered a deal to sell Laura's TV set to a neighbor for $400. But when the neighbor wanted to call Laura to say thank you, she got an abrupt response. Simon told her, no, don't call her. She's in bed sick, and she wouldn't be answering any calls. Shortly after the sale, Simon took off in Laura's car, which turned up on Florida's east coast on May 3rd, the same day her body was found decomposed in her bathroom tub. Fast forward a month to Margate, Florida, where Simon had become roommates with several middle-aged women. And once again, that cloak of suspicion surrounded him. One of these women got the same feeling that something was just off about Simon and her brother confronted him and asked to see some ID. Simon agreed to the request but when he went upstairs to get his ID he instead jumped out the window and ran never to be seen again and leaving everything he had behind. Phones, clothing and interestingly enough some of Laura Howard's um, personal effects to include her driver's license, marriage license, license and passport. The problem at this point is finding Simon Storm, who actually isn't Simon Storm at all. His real name is Richard Keene, and chances are he's found another unsuspecting victim living off their money and leaving them with no knowledge of his violent past. Keene is a former member of the military, dishonorably discharged with an extensive criminal record. He's got a long list of aliases, but the one thing that has remained constant is his M.O. He tries to prey upon middle-aged women, try to gain their confidence and use them for whatever he can, what advantage he can get from them. Which is most likely what happened to Laura Howard. Whatever name he's using at the time, know that that's not him. His real name is Robert Keene. He's a felon. He's a dangerous person. At one point, lived by himself in a storage unit, that he was that self-sufficient and worried about um, going back to jail. In fact, he told his dad he will not go back to jail. But until the day he's found, questions regarding any involvement in Laura Howard's death will remain unanswered. But detectives and family members are holding on to hope that someday, sooner than later, he'll resurface and have to explain his bizarre behavior. The last thing we want is for another potential victim to be uh, tricked or duped by this guy posing as an imposter. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.